Hey guys, it's Shenanigans. Today I'll be reviewing the Zebra Mild Liner Creative Marking Tool. These are double-ended, soft, mild color, water-resistant, creative markers. I will also be reviewing the Be Creative Be Paper Company marker paper. And so I'm just going to move these guys out of the way right now and show you this paper first. So this is the B Paper Company marker paper. This is the five and a half by eight inch paper. It's 110 pounds and there are 50 sheets of acid-free marker paper. So when you open this up, this is just like a hard sort of board, almost like cardboard on the front. It's just spiral bound. On the inside, this is just the insert on the outside of this binding, which I guess I do not need anymore. So I can just get rid of that. So just black on the front, says marker on the side in case you have a lot of notebooks, then you can tell which one this is. There's Be Creative at the bottom for their logo. When you open it up, it's black on the inside. There's just this thin, sort of, reminds me of like, vellum sheet. And here's our actual marker paper. It's quite smooth. So yep, it's just a bright white paper. There's 50 sheets and I think this is a pretty good size. So yep, that's the paper I'll be testing today. Here are our markers. These are the Zebra Mild Liner Creative Marking Tool Double-Ended Soft Mild Color Water Resistant Creative Markers. Woo! This is the 15 pack of Mild Liner Highlighter and Marker in One. The Mild Water Resistant Ink is translucent, it doesn't bleed through, and it's available in 15 colors, all of which I will be swatching for you today. The convenient easel back packaging, so it looks like this packaging also has some features with it to convince you to keep the plastic packaging, which is nice. These are creative markers, assorted ink, double-ended, there's a chisel nib and a bullet nib. Alright, now that that's all out of the way, let's open this guy up. Alright, so it just looks like it latches down here when you want to close it, and you unlatch it to open it. It's nice. Now it says I have an easel backing. So... See, it looks like this pops out. All right, all right. I think this, maybe? All right, figuring out the easel backing, not, not, uh, not going well, I guess. Is this, is this right? I feel like this isn't right. Here to review the markers themselves, not so much the packaging, so. If you know how to do the easel backing, just let me know, because I apparently cannot figure it out. Alright, so you have 15 markers in here. It just says mild liner. It says something probably adorable in Japanese over here, but I can't read that. There's a bold tip on the one side, so the side with the cap, it looks like, is the bold side. And the fine side is the other side. It says Japan, lots of other probably adorable stuff in Japanese that I can't read, and a barcode. And the rest is just a nice white barrel. So here's our fine point end, easy to open cap. It says fine, but it definitely looks more like a bullet nib to me. I think you guys can see that, just basic bullet nib. And then our other side, this is our bold side. This is the chisel nib side. It has a nice sort of grip on here. That's, that's nice, I don't have other markers like that, so I'm excited to try that out. So it looks like a pretty rounded chisel nib. So we'll test that on our paper. Alright guys, so here are all of our 15 colors swatched out. See there's a couple fluorescent shades like this orange and yellow. They're very highlighter-esque and this pink. The rest of them, they're pretty pastel colors. The set also comes with a nice sort of silvery shade, which I like. I like having something almost metallic as an option with the rest of these colors and because I trust this marker paper I didn't actually flip it to see if it bled through or not so let's see nope not any bleed through although these are pretty light markers like it's basically like using a highlighter so I didn't really expect it to bleed through but can't even see it through on this side which is awesome so I like this paper on first impression, although I didn't really do any heavy blending, so I can't base it off of that yet. I can definitely see how these would be very useful for bullet journaling first impression. I like these markers, they remind me more of an office tool than an art tool, but I'm gonna see how we can make them an art tool. So I'm gonna move farther over on my paper and zoom in so you guys can see 
just how the nibs look when they write, so I'll zoom in for that, and then I'm gonna try blending a few colors together just because I want to see if that works at all with these, because I'm curious. Something else I noticed these markers, just if you're curious, their colors are designated with this cap and this little, like, bubble of Japanese lettering. That's where you see your color. Of course, my camera's not gonna focus. So, if you want to know your color, you look at the cap. There isn't a color name or association or anything on these. If that's something you like, like I do, you won't like these markers for that, but they do designate with the cap, and the cap colors seem to pretty accurately represent what you're going to get. So, like I said, I was going to try blending. So I'm going to take this light blue color, just use our chisel nib, get a nice amount of color down. Ooh, this paper's doing this weird sort of bubbly effect. Let's see if you can see that. See how we're getting this sort of like bubbling happening? I don't I don't know that this paper likes this. So let's put down more color. The next swatch where you can actually see how the chisel nib bends. It really doesn't. You can see this this marker definitely layers on each other, like you can see all the line strokes like you do with any just about any marker but it gets deeper as you add more color to it. This bubbling reminds me of like when you're using Crayola Super Tip markers. It has a very similar effect. Ooh, going over this, like gliding over the paper, it sort of pulls on the markers a little, but going over another marker, it's, it almost feels like you're going over grease. Does that make sense? Like an oily spot? Let's go over it again, because because blending, because I want to know. Even though these markers aren't really designed for that, why not? Yeah, so these markers definitely aren't, uh, not really good for blending. Let me zoom back out so you can get a better view. Yeah, so you can see these markers aren't, the darker one's covering up the lighter one. The lighter one's not blending in the darker one, and just sort of pulled up some of the paper with that, like, like, what is, what is this thing on my mark just, like, hanging off? Cute. So that happened. It's nice. Let's see if there's anything else on the other marker. To pull up any... No, this guy, this guy's alright. Oh, nope. Just a little bits of, like, paper or something on the end. So, yeah, this paper doesn't really like having these markers blended on it. I'm curious to see if it bled through. Nope, didn't bleed through. You can definitely see it's darker on the back, but it's not, didn't bleed through, so that's cool. So let me zoom in to show you the actual close-ups of the chisel nibs and bullet nibs like I said I would. Here's our close-up of the chisel nib. Oh, and this one still has some, like, pieces coming off of it. Cute. So yep, here's our nice, nice flat chisel nib. It goes down just like a standard highlighter, I would say. Although I like the colors these markers come in. Now here's our, it's these, they call these the fine point nib, but I like, they look more like a bullet nib to me. So yep, neither nib is too flexible. So first impressions, they remind me very much of highlighters, and I know that's really what they're meant to be used for. It even shows that in this picture here, that it's someone using it in like a planner or a journal. I can see these being very useful if you're a student or if you're someone who likes to be very organized. These would be really good for planners, journals, taking notes, highlighting sections of notes in your $4,000 college textbooks. I've been there, I remember, I'm still paying off that debt. I like the dual-ended tip, so you can highlight things in one color and write notes in the same color to keep yourself more organized. I'm probably going to be using these more in my planner than I would for art, but because I like to do art, I'm gonna attempt to use these markers in a piece of artwork.
here's my completed drawing with these zebra mild liners. Overall, they're okay. They're really streaky. Very similar to a, I want to say a Crayola Super Tip, but those aren't quite as smeary. And I think that's really because these really are more like highlighters. So the blending isn't really there. They lay on top of each other to get darker, but they don't perfectly make a nice smooth color. I will also say the Pigma Micron fine liner I used for this picture did not like these markers. It's smeared a lot. Like you can see huge smears on the tail over here. Um, there's a few smaller ones on the face that I can see close up. You probably can't see on camera. So these markers and a fine liner don't blend really well together. They don't work well together. But on this paper, it seemed to go well. It's just this marker paper. It doesn't bleed through. So awesome paper. I totally suggest this B Paper Company marker paper. Works really well. If you like using markers, I suggest it so much for that. Even though these markers aren't really supposed to be what this paper is used for. It's more like for alcohol markers. These markers still worked really well on it. I like how the paper works. A plus to the paper. As far as these Zebra Mild Liners go, I definitely see them more as an office supply tool. I do see them as an art tool if you do bullet journaling or if you do calligraphy work. Then I think these markers are a really awesome tool for you because I do recognize those two things are forms of art. But since they aren't things I really do, I see them more as, as an office supply for myself personally. I will be using these, however, in my planner. As far as an art supply, not going to use these for coloring anymore. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please leave me a comment down below to let me know what you thought. Like this video if you liked it, and think about subscribing if you want to. Thanks for stopping by to watch my video. Have a great day. Bye!